Pat King was one of the original group of organizers who brought those trucks and thousands of protesters to Ottawa back in February of 2022. Initially, it started as a rally against COVID-19 public health measures, but it quickly turned into sort of an anti-government protest against the Trudeau government and the Prime Minister himself. People in Ottawa, residents, businesses were outraged that the police allowed this to go on for weeks until they finally shut it down. Pat King has already spent five months in jail on some of those charges before he was released on bail. Michael Kempa is standing by. He is with the University of Ottawa, a criminologist. Michael, good to see you. Appreciate your time. And I know you follow those convoys. You and I spoke extensively as we were covering it here back in February of 2022. The significance today for this trial for Pat King. What do you think? Well, we're back again now, more than two years later. Mr. King, as you mentioned, was held on remand, denied bail for a period of just about five months, waiting for his trial for two years. He wanted a change of venue. He didn't get one. Finally, that day has come where he will answer the allegations that he himself engaged in criminal activity on the ground in the form of mischief obstruction, violating court orders, but also counseling others to do the same things in the sense that he was a leader capable of exerting influence over the crowd. He is pleading not guilty, as you know, Michael, to nine charges, and yet there's a lot of evidence on social media in which he is featured prominently as part of these protests. I'm curious, you know, how you see that playing out possibly in court. Well, I think the Crown prosecutors have a stronger case with respect to the specific behaviors of Mr. King himself. Did he engage in intimidation? Did he engage in mischief? But when we start getting into questions of, was he an effective leader? Defense counsel, very much like in the trial of Tamara Leach and Chris Barber, will go in the direction of saying, well, exerting influence over what exactly? The Freedom Convoy, was it one organized thing? No, it was many layers of protest. It wouldn't have been possible, defense counsel will argue, for Mr. King to exert influence over something that was very diffuse and not really much of a thing at all. When we talk about some of these charges as well, Michael, you know, you're, you're looking at things like mischief, intimidation, obstructing police. How serious is that? Can you kind of give it to us in layman's terms? Well, they're all grab bag uh, categories of law that can range from the very mild to the very serious. So mischief, for example, has to do with preventing people from using property for its intended purposes. A minor form would be if I blocked your driveway and you couldn't access your house for a couple of hours. But if we're talking about thousands of people that prevent a city from being able to access essential medical services, to go to work, to go to school, these are much more serious forms of mischief. And that's where prosecutors are going to want to go to show that what Mr. King is alleged to have done was quite serious and merits, in their view, significant jail time. Tell me, yeah, in terms of jail time, how likely you think it is, Mike, uh, that Pat King might serve more jail time for what happened? If the Crown is only able to build a case around Mr. King's specific actions, very likely he would only, if found guilty, would only be sentenced to time already served while he was held on remand or denied bail. Five months, we usually give about a three to one credit, would add up to about two years served already. If, however, the Crown is very effective and they're able to show that Mr. King exerted influence over a large group of people who committed very serious offenses, you could look at something at more along the lungs five to six years. Mm. Michael Kempa, criminologist at the University of Ottawa. Thank you for this, Michael. It's always a uh, pleasure to you coming on the show and giving us your take. Thanks again.